our next question came in on Facebook from Karen down in my home away from home, Austin, Texas. Hey, Karen. Uh, since I'm cooking more than usual, uh, this is also super common. My grocery bill has gone up by hundreds of dollars. Uh, plus, it's harder to get stuff. And, you know, sometimes when you're buying online, it, the, the pricing can vary so much from where you get it. But anyway, uh, she, it's costing her hundreds more a month. What can she do during this time to save more money on food, of course? What's your advice? This is so common. And I get this question through my website and my email, like, multiple, multiple times a day. The big place where we're seeing a huge increase right now is on meat prices. So this is a tip, um, and I do this personally, is that grocery stores are going to discount the meat prices, you know, two or three days before they expire. Now this meat is still good in the freezer for up to three months. So I like to go and buy all the discounted meat, which can be between 50 and 70% off, make freezer meals with them and stick them in the freezer so that I'm saving a lot of money on meat. So that's a huge increase that we've seen. But then also what we've seen a decrease in is seafood. So a lot of times people are really stuck in what they like to cook. So they just mm -hmm. go and they're on autopilot. I challenge people to go and buy some different things, maybe switch to seafood a couple nights a week because these are shipped frozen. So the supply chain isn't really cut back very much. And, you know, change up the meats that they like, eat the meats that they can find on clearance to really keep that meat budget low. I think that's a really, really good one. And as always, you know, you can comparison shop, even if you're shopping online, you would be shocked. And when you buy in bulk or by unit of measure rather than a pretty package, or if, if you've been doing meal kits and you're on a budget, you might want to rethink that because you are paying for the luxury of someone prepping the food and you're not getting the whole thing. And I agree with you. You have to think out of the box. Just break up your preconceived notions of we eat these 10 things every month and that's it and start using everything in your pantry. We all forget how much we have until we really look, right? Exactly. And I do like reverse meal planning. I start with what I have and plan right. meals with those. And then I fill in the blanks and you'll be so surprised. You know, I have on my fridge, the food that I have in my freezer and that's how I start. Oh my God, I, eat, do that not the opposite. I do that too. I do that too. I keep a weird little checklist. And when I take it out of the freezer, like today, I just had John go check how much stock I had left frozen and how many chickens and how much this, how much that. And every time it goes down to one or none, I restock that thing. See, we're exactly. here. Exactly, I just did that last night because I have like, I get like a huge 10 pound thing of, of ground beef and I, right. I you know, Break put it, it into taco meat packets and yeah. then I put it on the fridge so I know exactly how much taco meat I have and then like dinner's ready in a snack. <laughs>